Mito or Mito? Use this and become a legend, they said. I already thought I was. I mean, 10 years I've been at this game. Ups and downs, ons and offs, flights and drives. But okay, the name Mito or Mito means to be a legend. So this is the Mito or Mito by Reximax. And as usual, they are names that mean something to someone. But this, oh boy, this. The Mito is meaty, and I like meat. Not politically correct at this point in time, but I do. So watch on. Disclosure time, this video is made in association with airgun101.com, and that is the best place for airgun videos on the net. Plus, Airgun 101 Shop, which is my day job, is a great place for the latest gadgets and gizmos in the airgun world. The Mito, or Mito, is from Reximax. Now, there is a Turkish connection, and I'm guessing that Kral probably has an input somewhere. It comes in 177 or 22, synthetic black, with an included shoulder stock, which is a bargain, or for a few buttons and bananas more, you can have one with a walnut grip, which is more orientated for the target shooting community. That does not have the shoulder stock included, but both come with a free hat. Woohoo! So if you're bold like me, it's always good for keeping the raindrops off your head. But I think I can probably take that off now. It comes with two magazines, a single shot tray, some spare O-rings, extra rear sight, copy of some test papers, instruction manual and fill adapter, all in a nice case. A really, really nice case. In 177 you get a 9 shot mag and in 22 you get a 7 shot. Side shot loading and cocking look just there. Nice big chunky grip which fits your hand really well and it actually seems to fit both of my hands really really well but I'm not left I don't quite know but it does fit my hand it actually feels like it was sort of molded around my fingers and it is a really really good fit and it's synthetic and while that's a posh word for plastic it feels a lot more than that it's almost sort of soft touch but it's not the shoulder stock sort of comes apart and clips in really, really easily. Ah, there you go. And it's a really good, sturdy fit. If you wanted to be picky, you could say there was, oh, I don't know. If you wanted to be picky, you could say there was a tiny bit of movement. But really, I've been shooting it and there isn't. The only thing I would say is that when you are shooting the synthetic without the shoulder stock on, you do have the holes or ports at the rear which are always open and they don't come with caps to cover them you have top open sights and they're adjustable at the front up and down and are removable the rear sight arrived with its fixed sight on the back but there is an extra sight in the box which is adjustable for windage and elevation now it's a pcp which means you need a source of air and you can top up the 50cc cylinder from that little port just there. Filter 250 bar, according to the manual, I tend to top up to around 220, 230. It saves the top end of my tank. But yes, you will need either a bottle or a pump because it's a PCP. It is so easy to shoot and use. It's very easy to cop and load with the left side side lever. Just there. Ah. It's not failed on me yet. The magazine is an FX style rotary. That first pellet is a tricky one. It will drop straight through. So you have to put your finger over the bottom of the hole. Magazine inserts from the right. Now, you have to line that up right, the magazine. 
it's very easy to load the magazine a little too high or a little off angle so slow and steady to line it up single shot tray inserts from the right also and again that is very very easy to use one thing to point out is that that side lever is quite loose now that's very nice but when you're loading and unloading it can sort of slide back into the port on the magazine and then you're going to be tugging away at the magazine to get it out so you have to be sure that you're not letting that drop back in the mag when you're loading i'm just telling you things that have happened to me while i'm using it now the barrel is rifled and i'm guessing in-house made and wait for it an adapter for a moderator is included that moderator isn't included the adapter is let's just be clear but it works really well and when you add the moderator of your choice it makes the mito look very hubba hubba yep the mito also does bark without a moderator so i really would suggest putting one on if you're going to be doing some back garden thinking power wise now remember i'm in the uk so it's sub six foot pounds some will shout but with a shoulder stock on it surely it's a rifle well, no the barrel is only around 20 centimeters long and it's modeled as a pistol so it's sub six foot pounds but it comes with test papers and from my own testing with a 15.8 5.52 i can confirm five and a bit foot pounds you want more speed from your pellet it's simple you just use a lighter pellet the rails on top are 11 mil dovetail, 5.5 centimeters of which there is behind the breech and 14 centimeters in front above the barrel. Now, they do resemble dovetail. I've not had much luck using them as rails. I don't know that you actually should. So I'm only using the ones at the rear. For me, I have added a primary arms red dot sight. I would suggest if you're not an Olympic standard shooter, a red dot is going to help. That also makes the Mito very quick to aim and very accurate. And yes, on paper, off a rest at 10 yards, it groups without doubt. Now, it's not a pigeon popper or past 15 yard pest controller, but if you're barn ratting at about 10 yards, it would work. However, I have been having a lot of fun in the garden with this, but this pistol is way more capable of accuracy that I just can't do it justice for. <laughs> Dong! <laughs> I can still shoot when I'm laughing. Try a spinner. Oh, I got the spinner. There is a safety just above the trigger there. It's not marked with any color, but it says F on the left and S on the right. The trigger out of the box on mine was set just right, but there is a small adjustment port or Allen screw just underneath there. You can make a very small adjustment to the trigger if you want, but like I say, I'm very, very happy with how mine came out of the box. If you're using the shoulder stock, I would admit that getting your face down low enough for the open sights is just not comfortable enough for me. It, it, it just doesn't work, and that's why I've put a red dot scope on top. Um, yeah, I think most adults you are going to struggle just because this is nearly the same height as that. Shot count then. Well, in 2-2, I'm getting 60 plus shots or more and 177 a few less. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't sat there and counted how many magazines I've gone through. I've been having too much fun for that, but it's enough. Is the 177 any good as a target pistol i'm going to hear you ask and i'm going to answer you by pointing to that group of nine just there 
Now granted, I was resting and I am using a red dot because I am not a good freestanding shooter, club shooter, Olympic style shooter, I'm not. But is the pistol capable of grouping? Uh, I would say yes. My Groupon camera is shot using the FX pellets, 844 4.52s. And I gotta say straight out of the tin, these are unweighed. It's a very consistent shot string. If you wanna go faster, use a lighter pellet. These are the Hobbies, they're seven grains. And yep, they're gonna get there a little bit quicker. Maybe a little less accurate though. What I would say is with the right pellet, the right shooter, this is a cracking little target pistol. Now this is a sub six foot pound pistol, regulated, and it shows that it's regulated. If you're a tinkerer or a dismantler, please be aware that doing that will void your warranty. This has all been checked and recorded before it goes out. The manual has instructions that may be valid outside of the UK, like other manufacturers do, but I'm telling you to abide by UK laws with this. The top rail covering the barrel can be removed and allegedly different colours are going to be available. Now, there's no promises there because obviously we're all waiting on things to arrive, but I'm told that they are coming. One other thing, if you add a moderator of your choice and a red dot, it won't fit back in the case, but it's only a minute or two to put it all together. But if you have to take that off, you are going to have to re-zero it when you put it back on. So it's a nice case, but not if you're putting those bits on. Blinged out with the extra red dot sight and the moderator, I think it looks really, really smart. And I've got to say, it's one of the best looking PCP pistols on the market. I've been shooting this for around 10 days now, and it works really, really well. You don't need a rest. There's nowhere to put a bipod. What you need is your finger to pull the trigger, a good sturdy shoulder, and something to shoot at, like those tins over there that have made me eat them. And because I've eaten them, I appear to have gotten a little larger than normal. Revenge time. I want more. What about that power at 15 yards? Well, it's still straight through a baked bean can. This one is mine, I've paid for it, and I'm going to keep it. So I've splashed my own cash, and that is the best recommendation I can give you. Prices, well, check the website. They will vary in six months time, and this video will still be around then. So go look for the valid ones as of today's date when you're watching this video. You found your way here, so I'm guessing you can click on a link to find out what a price is. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I gotta be honest, I only video what I think is worth your buttons out there. That's the way I work. So in case you don't wanna miss anything, do ring that bell. Other than that, thanks for watching. Stay well out there, everyone. Cheerio.